question from electrostatic electromagnetic field in electrical engineering paper. Okay, let us see the question first and then try to establish the function for it. A long conducting cylinder having a radius P is placed along the z-axis. The current density is given, that is J A R P along the direction for the region R less than B, where R is the distance in the radial direction. The magnetic field in P H for the region inside the conductor. So we have to find out the magnetic field. Of course, inside the conductor, magnetic field is like this. Electric field does not, so let us see this. So here, that's a simple question where we can apply the ampere circuit law. Okay. So the condition is like this. Okay, and this is your around these axis is placed. And the axis. Okay, that doesn't matter. That axis. Now, this is how the uh, conductor uh, is placed, and uh, within this, uh, if I take any small circumference of radius r there the current has been given by this equation so we have to find out the magnetic field so by ampere circuit law we know that line integral of magnetic field is equal to total current Enclosed. That is how the expression given in the standard textbooks. And uh, once you know the current density, you can find out the total current and the total current enclosed I is nothing but surface integral of J dot dS. Okay. Now you can substitute here. If this is along the z direction, so radial direction will have R d theta d phi. So that will become integral of G A up to up to D S V B D S towards radial direction will be R D R D five R D R D five along the direction. So this if you integrate it. You will have put up here. That is, then we call integral zero to r, r to the power four, p r zero to two pi d five. You will get the net current enclosed i is equal to j a r to the power five times pi two pi. Okay. Now coming to this equation again, we got total current enclosed by this. So HDL, we can write down DL along this perimeter is 2 pi r because for that the particular circle, circle we have to take for the radius r is going to be TL 2 pi r. So that will become H dot 2 pi r. This is equal to J A r to the power of pi upon pi plus 2 pi. So you can see so your magnetic field will be J A R to the power two and five. That's it. So the answer for this is option C. Please check this. So basically we have used the empty circuital law and that question. So we around this magnetic field will be like this. We have to find out that magnetic field which is given by this. That's the end of question from electro electrical engineering paper, question from EMS, electromagnetic field. Again, question from EMS uh, from the part of the circuit law. Uh, in case of electrical engineering, you will find the questions moving around electric field and magnetic field only. Okay, so the, the way it is different from the electronics is different here. 
So the question is the magnetic field intensity H in a conducting region is given by this expression. The magnitude of the current density in a paper metal is Again, you have to make use of here two things. One is the amplitude circuit law and the relationship between the current density and the magnetic field, which is given by which can be derived using a Stokes theorem. Okay. So what is amplitude circuit law? What is Stokes theorem? Let us see that. Total current inflows is equal to line integral of h dot dl right. and this of so if I apply it is also equal to v cross h dl this surface integral is line integral right so this result is based on the structure and this is what you by the end line integral can be done with the surface and i enclose we also know that current enclose is also equal to surface integral of current density we don't do that. so i can compare this with this right so if i compare both the things i'll get del cross h ds is equal to surface integral it implies del cross h is equal to t. So if I find the curl of this h, I'll get the j, which is what I desired. Okay, so if I substitute the values of x, y, and t, let us do that. So j is equal to ax, ay, az, then the water x. L over the D. L over the Z. L over the square. X star by X star. X star by X star. Z star. Z star by Z. Z is equal to. This will be 2 times and this is 0. This is 2. X square by Z star. A X. Then again, this part is uh, zero, this will become minus two x y square. That is square a y. Then I get this one is plus two x y square a z. Okay. This is good. now we can substitute the values of x, y, and z. Then try z two into one square into two into one ax minus two into one into two square into one square ax plus two into one into we square. So we will get this as 4ax minus 8. So this is a y 8 a y plus 8 a z. And we need to find out the length of this. So the magnitude of that model is going to be a root of 4 square plus 8 square plus 8 the root of 144 that is equal to 12. So answer for this is actually the measure of the current density in the at this point is going to be 12 amplifiers. That's the end of question from electromagnetic fields. Question from electromagnetic fields and yes this is slightly bigger and uh, yes not so difficult question I should say but yes, we need to know certain things. And if those expressions are not known to us, maybe we're not able to solve or we can try this by substituting the values. Okay. So, for example, these options are there and uh, it is given that V R at R equal to D is V2. So, we can substitute R equal to D here and let's see that which of the expressions is V2. 
Okay, that is another one way of getting the correct option. Similarly, put R equal to C and see which option gives you V1. Okay, so that is one way of solving this and getting the answer for it. But how to solve this? How to get uh, what is the correct answer for this? So uh, the question is like this, as shown in figure below, means uh, in the question, two concentric conducting spherical shells centered at R equal to 0, having radii R equal to C and R equal to D are maintained at potential, such that the two potentials are given. One is at C, it is going to be V1, and at D, it is going to be V2. Assume that V depends only on R, where R is radius. So it is clearly mentioned that it depends only on R, it does not depend on theta and phi. And any other component, the expression for VR in region between R and C is so in this region we have to find out what is the expression for the potential. And this point it is V, at this point it is V1 in this point. It is v. So once we have to find out the potential, so we have can one expression that is called the Laplacian effect. Uh, expression or expressive equation which we can make use of it. So I'll just try to found it so we can between this. And Laplace equation in a spherical body. So it is sometimes difficult to remember that expression. So easiest way would be to substitute the values and see which of these gives you the correct answer of V1 and V2. So that is that expression is something like this. Actually, here it is del square V is equal to zero. Divergence operator V is equal to zero. So if I can write this expression, it is. 1 by r square del over del r, r square del v over del r plus 1 by r square sin theta del over del theta sin theta del v over del theta plus 1 by r square sin square theta square v over del i square this is equal to now since it is said that it, the potential is function of r only so this term is going to be zero this term is going to be zero we are left only with this term since v is Function of R only. We have 1 by R square del over del R square V over del R. If I integrate this, I get let's say this is the equation. You go to the next page. If I integrate this, I'll get R square del V over del R. This is some constant C will be If I del V over del R is going to become C1 upon R square. If I integrate this again, I'll get V is equal to minus C1 upon R plus C. Okay, so we find this equation of four days with respect to R. Now we have Two conditions in this. If I substitute those two conditions in this, I'll get two equations. So first condition at r equal to c1, so v1 is equal to minus sorry, at r equal to c plus c2, and v2 is equal to minus v1 from b plus c2. Now solving this, next we will see the equation. Two, this is the equation. 
what is C1 and C2 we can find out. Now subtract this equation, we will get C1 as V2 minus V1 CD on D minus C. I'm directly getting the result, but if you subtract it, you get it the same v2 minus c d of d minus c. Substitute c1 in this, we will get v2. We get c2 actually. C2, if I substitute c1 in this expression and taking to this side, I'll get that is v1 plus v2 minus v1 d of d minus c. Now C1 is known, C2 is known, we can substitute back in any of these equations and can get in this equation C1, C2 we can substitute, we will get V is equal to minus V2 minus V1 CD upon D minus C divided by into one by R plus V one plus V two minus V one D upon D minus C. Now you can check with the options, but the simplified is C D V1 minus V2 upon D minus C. So yes, you can take this minus side inside. And uh, if you solve this, you will get uh, V1 C minus and V2. Okay, this is V2 D. V1 D, V1 D will get C. To the medicine. Yeah, solve this option B should be there. Right. Okay, this term is as it is we are getting here, and this time you take D minus C, so we will get V1D, V1D will get cancelled. So V1C and uh, V2D, V2D minus V1C upon D minus C. So that is a typical question which makes use of Laplace equation. So this question is slightly, uh, I should say that this is a portion that we should know. And if we are aware of this uh, this equation, then it is we can solve this. Otherwise, the other way is substitute the value of uh, r here and get what is the potential. Value. Okay, let us see try this at uh, the option b or in any of the option. If I try it r equal to c, and let's say it is v one. So if I take option c here, and if I put r equal to c here, then this will become c. C and c will get cancelled. And uh, I'm not getting this. So this v v one minus v two and d minus c is not equal to v one. So it is d v one. So d minus c v one, right? Minus. So this term will be there. D v two d v two will not cancel. So this is not the right. Only option which will satisfy is option. That's the end of question form. Electromagnetic case.